Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating these kinds of uh, organic models in Rhino 7 using Subd tools, which is the newest feature in uh, Rhino 7. So, as you can see, these kinds of uh, concepts are based on some conceptual uh, curves, sketches, or uh, kind of geometries that uh, you can see uh, in this picture. So. Um, we have some steps to do, but for this model, we are going to use the easiest ones and uh, the most useful uh, commands from uh, Subd tools in Rhino 7. So let's uh, start uh, modeling in uh, Rhino viewport. So uh, the first step is to uh, create the base plane of this. Uh, model. So first step is to create a plane uh, which is here, create subd plane. Uh, and you should know that in subd feature we have planes and faces. Each plane is consisting uh, some faces inside uh, itself. So these rectangles you are seeing here are called faces. The whole rectangle is called a plane. So, for creating that object, we should uh, define how many faces we want in this plane. So, I click on this command and then I define that I want, uh, for example, 10 faces in x axis and uh, 5 faces in y or Y um, axis. So I create it like this. And next step is to create uh, those forms that mm, we have here and there. So I should choose the segments here and here. For uh, selecting uh, the segments, we should go to filter, turn on sub-objects, and then as you can see we have some slash uh, parameters here, and I uh, uncheck all of them except curves uh, slash edge. Uh, if you want to filter whole uh, selections um, by clicking on the one uh, you want to select, you should right click on curves slash edge. So uh, it will check this one and uncheck all the other options. So I go here and click these segments. I'm uh, clicking them by holding shift and left click on the segments that I want. And then I move these for example, to this point. And after that, I uh, close the selection filter and choose uh, the plane and go to uh, front view, move it to the uh, top, for example, like this. And then I make a copy from this. Control C, Control V, and then type project, project to C plane, and choose yes because we want to delete the input and uh, have the new face uh, oriented on the C plane we are working on. So click on yes, and then we have this. Okay, uh, the next step is to create those uh, columns. Uh, we saw here like this. So we have to use another command in uh, Subd tools, which is called uh, bridge. And as you can see, the bridge icon is like this. It connects two faces together or two sets of faces together. So I left click on uh, the bridge command, and it asks us. Uh, to create uh, the bridge between two sets of faces. The first set will be 
uh, for example, this face, right click or enter or a space, and then choose another face uh, below this one. So I, uh, for example, click on uh, this and right click. It shows us a preview from uh, the column uh, which is going to be created here. Uh, you can change this strains. Uh, a straightness uh, by uh, moving this slider and you can add more uh, segments here and I think uh, one segment is gonna be enough and I don't want to make it so sharp uh, if you want to make it sharp you should click on this crease but I don't want that so uncheck it and then click on OK and uh, create other columns uh, with the same process for example click this face right click and this face again okay uh, another column might be placed uh, here right click and then um, here that's it, I think uh, that's enough. So next step will be uh, make these columns a little bit thinner than this. So I should create some segments around these uh, columns. So I go to uh, insert sub the edge ring by clicking, uh, by right clicking on this icon. So I click this set of uh, rings and then right click and as you can see, I can add another uh, curve or actually segment sets here. Again, I'm going to create another one here. And another one here. So now that uh, we have created this, I'm going to uh, change the selection uh, filter to curves slash edge make sure it's checked and then double click here to uh, click the whole uh, curves here and hold shift and left click on one of these square uh, icons here which uh, represents the scale parameter so like that you can make it thinner again here for example like this and again here okay uh, after that we should uh, create um, surface with uh, offset surface from this uh, sub the surface so I click on here go to Offset, Offset sub D, and uh, you can see these arrows which shows us the direction of uh, offset axis. So I think uh, this is good. So I uh, change the distance, for example, to 0.5 inter and inter. It's a little bit thick, so I change it to, for example, 0 0.2 inter. And now uh, we have created the station that we wanted to create. Uh, so, so next will be uh, deleting these faces here and cap the hole uh, that is going to be created. So I change uh, the display to uh, square one like this it it shows us uh, the model in a uh, sharp mode it's just a mm, matter of showing parameter it's not the output uh, of our project the output will be that uh, organic shape and curve but this is gonna be uh, just a viewport that we can work easier in that so uh, I 
change the selection filter to uh, surface slash faces by right clicking on this square and I will click on these and delete them and next step is uh, closing these parts so I'm going to use cap hold uh, let's find it in this toolbar this is uh, fills up the hole and then I'm going to double click around the edge like this and right click right click that's it we have created the faces uh, we wanted and um, actually we will delete these parts too so click on the faces that we don't want delete them and again choose fill sub the hole double click double click and double click right click right click that's it and again change the view and you have uh, this smooth model here and you can go to uh, arctic view and you can see that uh, this station is really really neat and clean I like it very much uh, this is uh, one of my own uh, ideas for uh, a conceptual uh, station for example it can be an expo or uh, you know a station for bus or anything else that uh, people can walk um, below these organic faces so that's all of it uh, if you want to create some uh, plans out of this uh, you can choose your model and then type make 2d and for example first angle projection it might be good the layer name is gonna be or Organic station and click on OK and wait for Rhino to create uh, your 2D drafts. As you can see, it's created. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, do your trainings and uh, create your models. If you have any problem, you can um, comment below this video and I will answer your questions. Stay tuned for my next tutorials about Rhino 7. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video. See you later.